everyone! Today we're gonna recreate this green sleek kitchen in Bloxburg. Why do I sound like a news reporter? <laughs> the way that I'm doing this series kind of reminds me of Sims. In Sims, you basically have this option to choose what room you want. Like you can choose kitchens, bedrooms, etc. And you kind of build a house like that. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do in Bloxburg. But you know, we don't have a gallery. So you're just like copying room by room. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna make it four by four. And then what we basically have to do is we have to get the counters that look most like the photo. Those kind of remind me of modern counters, right? Like this looks kind of similar. But look at that. It doesn't have this little... Well, it doesn't have these. These handles. It's like one of those fancy ones. You like tap on it and it opens all electronically. <laughs> those fancy ones. See, this one's not fancy. You gotta like pull at it. You gotta use kinetic energy. <laughs> we don't really have such a similar one. This one kind of matches the photo. I'm not even joking. But you can't even open this one. <gasps> Wait, why do the modern cabinets look like this? Like they don't have handles? I don't understand. Am I gonna have to use like a combination between this? this basic counter and this modern cabinet. I feel like we could get away with using the modern half cabinet. I know it doesn't look too similar, but I think it'll work out. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back into cabinets and I'm gonna get the tall modern fridge cabinet because I feel like that's the vibe. I'm between grime, slime green, and sand green. I think I'm gonna go for slime green. These cabinets are always so like weirdly blurry over here. I'm gonna get a cube. I gotta resize it to be the same sort of width as our cabinet. Wait, it looks different. Wait, what, why? What material? are we using? We're using smooth plastic on it. Wait, but we're using smooth plastic here as well. Wait, what? Smooth plastic looks so different for these two. If I recolor the cabinets to be sand green and metal, it looks exactly the same or well, pretty close to the shape. Now I'm gonna put the cube on top of the cabinet and resize it. I hate it when the game does this. Look at that tiny gap. It's just staring at me. I can see you. I'm trying to get these to like match a bit better. I'm blending them into each other, if that makes sense. Yeah, I did it. It actually worked out pretty nicely. And you might say like, oh, what's the difference when you like grab Grab these. If you do it like this, then it kind of doesn't really work out. There's clipping involved. It's kind of being messy. It's being weird. So then you're kind of forced to put this one on the side and then you have this random big gap here and it just doesn't look so good. So that's why I'm basically like pushing them into each other. That line makes it look so much more like the photo. Like I said, these modern counters have handles on them and that's not really looking like the photo. So we're going to use the basic counters. Ooh, we're being cost effective. The only issue with these basic ones is like when you put them like this, look at this, just one clean connection. Connection. Look at that. There's a disconnect. Not here though. So we're gonna have to create our own sort of lines using structurals. This is pretty much the reason why I didn't use the tall modern oven cabinet. That's a mouthful. But look at this. Like that does not look like the photo. And I know that it upsets people if you put an oven over a counter and I know it's unrealistic, but it's okay guys, it's Bloxburg. See, like you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. It's gonna be fine. Is this the only oven we have? It's just pro chef. I wish I could make this oven like smaller, but I can't. I'm honestly just making this oven look a little larger than it actually is because I want it to look a little bit more natural. Because the one in the photo is so tiny, they're able to put it in another like cabinet over here, but we cannot do that. We don't got the space for that. Oh, I should put the fridge in. What kind of fridge would this person have? I mean, I would pick a fridge that doesn't have handles because they, <laughs> this person does not like having handles, but if I had to choose, I think the fanciest one, the Arctic fridge. I'm gonna get another cube and I'm gonna resize it to be even thinner than these cabinets above us because we're gonna start making those wooden cabinets. I don't know, there's like multiple different forms of cabinets in this kitchen. Obviously in Bloxburg, these ones are not functional. The ones in the photo probably are, right? Like no way they're just for decoration. <laughs> We're recalling this to be linen and wood because I feel like that looks most like the picture. I literally just noticed that the marble is only like around the counters and that's it. And then over here in the center, it's wood. We're gonna put the electronic cooktop right here and the kitchen sink is like in a corner over here. Oh no, we can't place it, what? How do you place the box sink? Wait, 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 I want it there. I want it there. Please work. Listen up. If you've ever used a sink, being like this, trying to clean the dishes, it's just gonna hurt your waist. You're gonna tiptoe trying to reach the dishes and it's just gonna be so uncomfortable. You're probably gonna smack your head on this, but we're gonna do it anyways because it's in the photo. I will add a basic shape. I'm gonna flatten it out. I'm just gonna recolor it and then I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna bring it down so it doesn't look like it's that glitched out, right? It looks like a regular sink. <laughs> that doesn't look like a sink. Sink. That doesn't look right at all. If you're rebuilding this, just put the sink somewhere around here. Trust me. Like, I'm just doing this so it matches with the photo. But if you're actually putting this down, I suggest you put it on one of these two counters. Now we're just going to use structurals to sort of create these lines that we see in the photo. It's better if you place the structurals from the ground up 
because if you do it from up to down, it's gonna look like this. Whereas you could make it look like this. I don't know why, but I have to use this thicker structural instead because the smaller one just doesn't show up for me. It's gonna look awkward because it definitely does look thicker. I'm mixing these structurals with wood and pine cone. We're gonna use the trendy round dining table. It looks most similar. I'm gonna color it wood tiles with linen. Since we don't have a lot of options for the chair, I am just gonna use the stylish one and I'm gonna try to angle it just like the photo. This one kind of looks like this. And then there's another one over here. Ooh, they got plates there. Are they on placemats? I don't think they're on placemats. I don't think I've ever like placed down the forks or spoons like this before. Maybe I have. I don't remember. Oh, and they also got little cups right there. Oh, ain't that cute? They got these tiny little cups. Look at those candles. They're so tiny. We can do the kitchen backsplash in three different ways. If you want to be quick, you can just color the wool marble and it'll pretty much look like this. But if you want to be extra like me, you can just use one of these like decals and paintings together and just put it as a backsplash. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out which one I should go for. Also, wait, I'm going to get this cabinet hood and I'm going to put it over here and I'm basically going to very quickly resize it. I'm also going to grab these light boxes and I got to raise them up using the basic shape and carpet hack because the transform tool doesn't work on this. And for those who don't know what the basic shape and carpet hack, you basically put the basic shape and the carpet and then you're able to place the item kind of where you want to place it. So I want mine to be there and I can delete it and boom, there you go. It's done. My issue while placing this is that if you place too many, it starts to look a little too bright. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to get a basic shape and I'm going to color it in a similar way to the light box so they blend in together. Oh my gosh, wait, is this going to kind of blend in? I mean, it kind of blends. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now that it's on it, I can see what color fits better. I think the most similar lights we have are these geometric ones. And there's like three of them above this dining table. They're all at different heights. So this one over here is the lowest of the bunch. This one's the second lowest and there's the tallest. I like this kitchen a lot. I don't know what to put over here because in the photo it's just blank. So we can just pretend that these chopping boards just fell over. Like they were leaning on the wall, but then they fell. Also, if you guys want these decal codes, I'll just put them in the description. I'm just going to adjust them. Like I'm shrinking them and then like overlaying them with each other. I feel like that looks a little bit more realistic. And I also don't want it to clip. And oh, I think I made it work. It's not clipping through. The width of this is four in case you're wondering about that detail. And it is a little pricey to do this because I'm overlaying them. If I don't overlay them, then look at the line. It just keeps going. So I'm doing this so it works out better. I prefer using the frame instead of an actual door because look at that. It's so nice. Like imagine you're like your living room is like over here and then here's your kitchen. So fancy. I'm going to do some calculations and I'm going to put on the screen what the total value of this kitchen is. And yeah, here we are. It's actually so cute. So yeah, you can't open the basic counters and you can't open these wooden ones either. But hey, you can open these ones. And let's be honest, you got plenty of these because they're overlaid. <laughs> okay, functionality wise, maybe it could be a bit better. But hey, you got this one. This one's perfectly functional and good. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Love you guys so much. Bye.